I'm home court, just dead in trial. Why ain't I see you around back when I was What about the all eyes on me movie? Has nothing to do with the series, just how LT Hutton doing it, mm -hmm. how Afeni had problems or allegedly mm -hmm. had problems with it. Like, do you feel it was a good representation of of the story? Did it did it move too quick? What was your personal feelings on it? I feel like I learned the very, very, very valuable lesson as far as what it takes to make a good movie and a not so good movie. And it was on the hills of straight out of Compton. It right. was on the hills of straight out of Compton. Right. And I let me say this first. I feel like people didn't give all eyes on me a fair chance because of people's love for Pop. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, he ain't coming back. Mm -hmm. He gone. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And trust me, nobody, that shit doesn't fuck with nobody harder than his family and the people mm -hmm. that know him. But his fans, they love him so much, they wanted basically all eyes on me and to see Pac when they went to the movies. Yeah, You know what I mean? And as far mm -hmm. as other movies, they gave other movies more of a chance in my opinion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because if you look at Straight Outta Compton, great movie, don't get me wrong. But the last 30 minutes of Straight Outta Compton is like, come on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That shit ain't no better than All Eyes On Me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That shit ain't no better than Notorious. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because it's very difficult to tell a story, a period piece, one, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Especially, and then you're trying to get actors to reenact some shit that actually happened in Pac is an energy that you really just, it's hard to duplicate. Yeah. It's hard to really, you know what I mean, bring back. But no excuses. We took on the task to get the, you know, to be involved with the movie and, and shout out to LT Hutton because mm -hmm. he did his very best. Everybody involved, <clears throat> Benny Boom, did their very best. And I think over time that movie will get more <clears throat> um, respect and love than it did at the time. It was just a lot of controversy. Mm -hmm. A lot of misinformation was out there. You know what I mean? And um. To be honest with you, a lot of people did their best to, mm -hmm. you know, get that movie derailed. Yeah. Wow. Wow. The actor did look like Pac a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that was my next question. How do you feel like, like Demetrius Ship Jr., uh, which his dad, by the way, produced uh, Toss It Up. Mm -hmm. Toss It Up. You yeah. know what I mean? What? Do, how do you feel he did and represented Pac? Man, Demetrius Ship was a newcomer. Mm -hmm. He was not an actor by trade. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That was Michael B. Jordan that got a call from his agent and said, right. yo. <laughs> Who tried out for the movie and didn't get mm -hmm. it? You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Oh mm -hmm. shit! And really? Yeah, a lot of people did. Him, mm -hmm. Nick Cannon, a lot of people tried out I'm for that role. I'm glad Nick Cannon didn't get that. And didn't get it. I mean, yeah. because at the end of the day, you know, um, Meech earned that role. He mm -hmm. did three auditions. You know what I'm right. saying? And they didn't just hand it to him. Right. You know what I mean? He auditioned for it more than once, and he ended up being the best one for that role. And right. I think he did an outstanding job, especially for somebody that wasn't an actor by trade, mm -hmm. and and you know, literally was. You know, yeah, was the cable guy right? For, right, when he got that. Role. I'm home court, standing trial. Why ain't I see you round back when I was down? Karma's on the way. What goes around comes around. Karma's on the way. There's nothing you could do now. You gotta pay.